Do the insane know that they're insane? <laughs> I think some insane people do. Um, but I think that <laughs> by definition an insane person doesn't have the capacity to understand that they're insane because their reason has been overthrown. In the case of depression, a powerful negative mood has overthrown the reason, the, the powers of the intellect. Uh, I liken it to um, your reason is the driver of the car, which is you. But in this case, the car has been carjacked by a monster that has taken the reason, shoved it away from the steering wheel, but into the passenger seat while the monster drives, the monster being the depressed state. The reason is still there, and it's just watching and being driven all over town by something else. But it's still there. And it has understood that, it, that the mood is something more powerful than it is. So it starts to give way and give ground and make obeisance to the mood. That's my um, hijacking theory, where mood hijacks the intellect. This can be particularly lethal to highly intelligent people because um, intelligent people have been relying upon their mental, um, their mental capacity to get them through most things in, in their life. But the, in this case, the intellect is, is exactly that which is hijacked. And the intellect is in many ways of no more use to you when you're in a severe mood disorder, but the intellect doesn't want to admit that any of this is happening. The intellect wants to continue to think that it's in the driver's seat, whereas it's a, it's a thoroughgoing slave. This is how you get situations in which you have highly intelligent people who are sneeringly cynical, who have reduced the world to nothing but a morbid pile of shit, Everything that is, has any value at all is deconstructed down to the basest possible um, denominator, the basest possible terms of how you can look at anything that has any value in most people's lives is sneeringly denigrated, sneeringly ridiculed, stereotyped. And it seems to be perfectly reasonable to do that. Um, again, I don't want to sort of flog this too hard, but I can't say this enough about Benatar and his ilk. If you'll notice the people that are into antinatalism, at least most of them are, I would honestly say, are above average in intelligence. But the very fact that they're above average intelligence ironically makes them more vulnerable to strange twists of reason and logic to try and um, allow their reason to come to terms with a pathological state. Benatar is like that. I, can't, I cannot, for the life of me, see him any other way. And I suppose there's a great deal of, of um, projection going on there, because I can't imagine a worse possible situation to be in as a human being. To have this monster come in and either push your intellect into the passenger seat, or even worse, put a leash and a muzzle around your intellect. Because that's what happens to highly intelligent people in as, mu in as much as it happens to non-intelligent people. But the intelligent uh, person is used to understanding that the intellect is a powerful tool for dealing with illusion. But in this case, <laughs> the, um, the intellect has fallen completely under the sway of the pathological condition itself. That's how you can get highly educated, highly in, in, intelligent, highly um, uh, articulate people like David Benatar and his followers going for something which essentially says um, that nothing that any human being has ever done ever will amount to anything when there are so many other people out there in the world who believe quite the opposite. It doesn't matter, they're simply wrong and they're deluded. Why? Because my intelligence tells me this. Your intelligence has been subverted. I think that unless someone actually comes to terms with that fact, a, a depressive 
will either come to terms with that fact or they will go under and they will be destroyed by their by their condition. For the life of me, I don't know how I got through it. But I can see that in so many people who um, seem to have uh, have fallen into the habit of thinking that a sneering cynicism and a dismissal of everything is actually um, simply removing all the bullshit from the world and seeing things for the way that they really are. Again, I can't imagine a worse fate to befall a human being. Thank you.